God, I'm a big one. Got him. Oh, got him. What's happening, everybody? Welcome back to the Dream Catchers Fishing Channel. Got my twice removed third grandfather's uncle's cousin's sister's brother, Ron. YouTube sensation. Good to see you again. <laughs> oh, we love it. Listen, you can kind of see my breath. It's about 55 degrees. It is early fall, late summer here in the mountains. Really excited to get after it. It's kind of a tough week last week. Anyways, we're gonna get after it today. I'm really excited about it. Stick with us, should be fun. Got a little bit of everything for him today. I got, that's right, the Dreamcatcher's brown trout, hinkle trout, a jig, uh, got a buzz bait down there that I need to tie on. And then, oh, that's right, a little modification on the, uh, I slide 262. That's right. Cut that joint out. Stole one out of the playbook of my boy Ben Milliken. But uh, anyways, that's going to make that bait swim a heck of a lot better now that it's a freer joint. But we'll see. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. Actually, I'm really just feeling chilly because it's a little chilly Actually, out this I morning. This good. I know it does feel pretty good. So, I'm yeah. sure they're. I'm. I hear people joking all the time, and I know they're not joking about pe pe people are taking deer on their own property. Golly, he freaking missed it, and it's a big one. I see him right there. See him down oh, yeah, there? He, he freaking just missed it. I was swimming it. Well, right there, a really nice fish, about a three and a half, four pounder came up and just missed that jig. And a lot of guys don't throw swim jigs in the mountains. And uh, not that that's a swim jig, I was just swimming that jig on top. You know, I'm constantly telling people when they're lower in the water, those brim get condensed on isolated structure and cover. So I took that jig and was just keeping it high and he came up and missed it and then missed it again. And then he kind of swam off really nice fish. But I mean, I think that's the kind of caliber fish we're going to be on today. I think, you know, I'm hoping for, you know, at least a three pound average in our best five and uh, hoping to catch 15 to 20 fish today. So stop number one, we missed, missed that fish, but we'll probably be able to come back to him and uh, capitalize on that fish here in a little bit. He can catch him. Huh? I said he can catch him. Oh, yeah. Adam? Yep. Oh, man. Look, I got a broken rod tip. Oh, no. It's like Spaghetti noodles. Oh, that sucks. Well, fish number one. About a two-pounder, but I've got a freaking fracturing my line somewhere and it just absolutely Ooh, destroyed man. all of my line that sucks because it's the only heavy rod i got today too six cents hybrid jig that's a rage crawl green pumpkin same jig that i'm using to swim around the brush uh up shallow i'm using that jig out here in the offshore brush so anyways fish number one Micro chip and my on my jig rod so i had to go and get one of rod's medium heavies and uh, that means we're gonna put it to the test because my boy Ron doesn't have a single heavy action rod on the boat for a jig. So we're gonna swing on him, aren't we, Ron? Oh man, did he try. You got him? Oh. oh my gosh, I wasn't recording, but I just caught this dang big one. Oh, I, we idled over here uh, from another piece of brush and there's brush out here. We're using the pan optics and you can see these little pieces of brush there on the bottom. Well, I'd thrown my jig out over top of one of them and uh, the sixth sense hybrid jig. We got them at dreamcatchersfishing.com. We got them in the shop, but threw it out there. I pumped it pop, 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 right over that brush pot. I seen him come up and he ticked it, man. And God, I wish I'd have got him. He freaking, I set that hook and the rod bent over. He was head shaking, big head shakes, big jumps next to the boat, but four and change, four and a quarter, I think is what he was, right? Yep. Yeah. Yeah, so anyways, gonna put him in a live well, I hope to catch a couple of his friends today what a fish switching to Ron's medium heavy rod I'm like man I'm gonna have to absolutely hack on that fish and when I felt that tick in that rod load dude I reeled down and absolutely crossed his eyeballs with that medium heavy but I got come up on the jig. yeah you saw we saw him come up and man oh I hacked him I hacked him like I said he had some monster head shakes next to the boat but uh anyways we'll catch more today you'll get to see some great footage One smoked it when I was following my jig. It's a dunk. 
There he is again. <sighs> Little large mouth. Pump that jig on the fall. There's so many fish down there, I don't want to spook them. I'm going to just put them in a live well. It's unbelievable. Here's one. It's a good one too. That's a bigger one. Three pounder. Three quarter. Divine hybrid. Half ounce. Not a big one, unless he's coming right at us. Whoa, he's got someone else's line in him. There you go, Bubba. Eat in peace, homie. There we go. Super finesse. Super finesse. Ron getting super finesse on him. First, first fish, the hover shot. Getting really finessey. I see you, big dog. <laughs> that thing does look good falling. Is that a spiral? Is that a Whoa, there they are. God dang it. There he is. Nice, dude. Way to catch one out of that wolf pack, Ron. Good job, buddy. I thought for sure they were going to eat that big swim bait. The big one came right up to it. I know they're not big, but hey, give me some nucks. They're eating it good when they eat it. They can eat it. Mr. Super Finesse. Gobble it all the way down again, or am I going to get the hook out without breaking? Oh my god. I got a leaf on it, that's why. There's been quite a few fish up shallow, cruising. I've been trying to throw a big bait at them. I think I could throw like a wacky rig and probably catch some of the, you know, one and a half, two pounders. I'm not really interested in those though. Uh, but we're going to keep grinding away. You know, I've skipped that jig a lot, fished the jig a lot. And yeah, we're just going to keep grinding. So anyways, stick with us. I think we're going to end up getting into them uh, this afternoon. So here we go. Nice. finally had a bite on this dang thing he hit it and just didn't get hooked oh and you got one nice look at all the brim around this dock that's good nice dude and ron's doing exactly what i said we could do i mean there's a lot of a lot of those pound fish two pound fish that are just cruising around up here and uh you know ron's got on a little soft plastic what's that rig called hover, 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 shot. hover shot rig japanese but he's just flinging it around. I mean, there's a lot of these little fish cruising around these bait fish, but obviously you can tell the I slide 262 that I modified to get a little more glide out of it. I'm hunting big dogs, big dogs. Woo. Yeah, better fish. Three pounds plus. Yeah, Bo. Literally, after I just got done saying I'm hunting a little bit better quality. Chill. Yeah. 
That's right. I side 262 in his face. Oh. Oh, God. Oh. Oh my gosh. He hit it, he headshot it. I just didn't get a hook in him. Yes. Hold on. They're like they're like sleeping and they'll wake up. They'll wake up. Pop it. Dude, he's got it. Oh, how did I son of a bitch? He had it in his mouth. God, I'm a big one. God, I'm a big one. Oh, he come off. Oh. Hold on. That's a little bit. Oh, there's some big ones. Stop it. Oh, look at him coming out. See him eat it. Did you see him eat it. Oh my god! <laughs> one just broke up in there, dude. One that freaking one just tried to eat it. Look, this one's about to eat. This one's gonna eat right here. I'm gonna throw this glide bait. He's gonna eat it. Oh my god! He hit it again! God, I'm stay. Oh my god. He just barely, he just barely. He just barely got to Just brush the mower. Head. No, I'm. I see a copperhead. I'm killing. Oh my gosh, dude! Oh, no, almost he's a bait. Look at that! I was like, I'm like, well, I'll leave it just in case he, you know, he's got someone under him. He freaking came up and ate it, dude! Look at that! That's a I slide 262, and the fish that I just caught on it. That's nuts! Crazy. See you, bro. Love the attitude. Look at this. There they are, right there. Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. Get in the boat. Boom. Whoa. That's another four. Close to it. You were right. On the I slide 262. Saucy. Oh, yes, large gals. That is a wrap from the famous lake with the famous guy back there, Ron Phillips, YouTube sensation. We had a blast, did a little bit of everything from throwing a jig around, doing some offshore fishing, uh, hanging out up shallow, hitting some lay downs, catching a couple wolf pack fish. It was a little bit of everything. I had an absolute blast. Um, that eye slide really, listen, that made a huge difference cutting that joint out and making that eye slide a true twitch bait where it's actually gliding back and forth. It was great. We had like 17, right at 17 pounds. We had a four and a half, a four, a three, and almost three quarter, a three and change, and then like a two and a half. And uh, we had some fish, we missed some fish. And listen, that's part of big bait fish. I always say it, when you have a 10 inch, and that's a 10 and a half inch bait, the eye slide 262, 
fish are gonna grab the dang bait and hit the bait where there's no hooks or they're gonna hit it and just swipe it and you're gonna get a hook on the outside of their face and they're gonna jump and a lot of leverage they're gonna throw it it's all part of it but anyways i had a blast ron did you have a blast great day what a stud never saw sleeping bass before oh yeah that's right we even caught some sleeping bass comment down in the comment section if you've ever seen a bass sleeping and were you able to catch it anyways i'm out ron's out see you guys later